Hi guys, Pekilia here and welcome back to a brand new video. Well, are you looking for an easy bikini top tutorial and don't know where to look for one? Or do you just have so many scrap yarn lying around and don't know what to do with it? Or are you just really bored and want to crochet something easy and simple? Well, you've come to the right video if you fall into any of these categories. Hi guys, you already know the drill, super easy, beginner friendly tutorial, I love this top, you can rock it anywhere, the beach, pool, whatever, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also turn on post notifications to get notified every single time I upload a new video, now let's get started, and also follow my social medias, it'll be on the screen, thank you! In today's video, the materials that I'll be using include a weight 4 yarn, some tape measure, and a 5mm crochet hook. You can use any um, size of yarn and hook that you want. Just make sure that the both of them correspond and one is not too big. Unless your project is going to look wonky or just not going to look the same. For example, if you have a weight 4 yarn and you're using a 6mm crochet hook, that may be too big for um a bikini because the stitches may look a bit bigger and have bigger holes as opposed to when you use a five millimeter or like a four millimeter for example so let's get started to start this project you're gonna take your yarn and your crochet hook and then you're going to make a slip knot and then you're going to make a chain that is long enough from the middle of your boob to the end of your boob so you, this is going to be like sort of like the width of your bikini top so we're going to make the first bikini um cup so you're going to make a slip knot and then you're going to chain however many chains you need from the middle of your boob to the side of your boob and i'm going to make 30 chains After making 30 chains, I'm going to place one more chain for turning, which is 31. And in the second stitch from the hook, I'm going to place a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch from the hook and make a double crochet. And from here on into every stitch, I'm going to place a double crochet. So I'm going to place a double crochet all the way till I reach the last stitch. And this will be my first row. So I have placed double crochets all through the first row. And for my second row, I'm just going to chain one. And you're going to chain one when starting a new row. So I'll chain one and enter my work. And from the second row, I'm going to start making decreases. Now I'm going to make a decrease in the first two stitches and the first two, the last two stitches of my work. So to make a decrease, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then you insert into the second stitch beside it. And then you yarn over and pull through. You should have three loops on your hook. And then you yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. And I'm just going to keep placing double crochets into every stitch till I reach the last two stitches. So I have placed double crochets all across and now I have only two stitches left. And now I'm going to make my decrease. So remember, we always make decreases on the first two stitches and the last two stitches. So to make a decrease, you insert into the stitch, yarn over and pull through. You should have two loops on your hook and then insert into that last stitch, yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops on your hook and then yarn over, pull through two loops and then yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. And that is a decrease. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work and I'm going to start row three. And I'll also make a decrease because we're starting the first two stitches. So insert, yarn over, pull through, and then insert, yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops on your hook, 
yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. And I'm just going to keep placing double crochets until I reach the last two stitches. So one last time, I'm just going to show you guys how I do my decreases. As you can see, I already crocheted my way and I have two remaining stitches and I'll just insert yarn over pull through and then insert into the last stitch yarn over pull through and I have three loops on my hook and I'll yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through the remaining two loops and then you chain one and then you turn. I don't know if you can tell but you can already see that um slant going upwards which means that the decreases are working and we have to keep making decreases in order for the slant to like form. So I'm gonna keep going on with my rows. Um, keep making your decreases until you have about like two stitches left. And then from there, I'm gonna show you guys how to make these straps. And then I'm show you guys how to make the um, bottom strap as well. So currently right now I have reduced to a point where I only have two stitches left and that is how thick I want my strap to be. If you want your strap to be um, thicker you could you know stop at a certain point and then keep crocheting upwards or you could either make it thinner if you wanted and you know make that last decrease and you only have like one double crochet to crochet there so anyways this is what my backup is looking like it's looking very triangular it's looking very nice it's looking very it's looking very nice so right now i'm just going to um keep going with no increase at all no decrease no increase no decrease and i'm just going to keep going with those two double crochet stitches that i have so i'm just going to keep placing double crochet so one double crochet and then second double crochet and I'm going to chain one turn and I'm going to just keep placing my two double crochets and I'm going to make a very long strap till I'm comfortable with the length I'm just gonna keep going and going and going and going Till I'm satisfied with the length so I'm gonna show you guys what I have once my length is like very long and I'll meet you guys once I'm done so once you have a very long strap a strap that you you like the length you desire looks good I'm just going to chain two and then cut the yarn off And then I'll just put through. Now you could just um, hide the string later. But then right now what I'm going to do is to make another bark up. And then I'll come back and make the straps. So I have two bark ups here. And right now I'm just going to make the straps um, that goes below right here. Then I'll reattach it. It's very simple. So to make those bottom straps, you want to take your yarn and your crochet hook and you want to make a slip knot. Now this is gonna vary for everybody and it depends on your size and your preference. I'm going to make a chain of 200. Now if you want the strap to be longer, you can make more or if you want it to be um, less, you could chain less. But I'm just going to chain 200 because it's what fits my size and it's what I'm comfortable with so chain 200 or however many chains you want so here are my 200 chains and from here I'm just going to place half double crochets into every single chain so in the second stitch from the hook I'll place a half double crochet 
and I'll place a half of crochet into every single chain till I get to the last stitch. So to place the straps, what you're going to do is you're going to get your um, work, place your hook from inside out, and then you skip two double crochet stitches and place into the next, skip two and place into the next, and you're just going to keep doing that all the way till you get to the end. So after doing that, you're going to get the strap and then you're going to wrap it around your um, crochet hook and then you're going to try to pull it through. So I have my one back up on the strap like so and I'll just do the exact same thing on the other side and I'm going to go from this side and then I'll just place my hook and skip to till I get to the end. And then after I just wrap the strap around my crochet hook and then I'll try to pull it through. And then I'll just adjust everything and make sure it's all good on both sides. So I'm going to go and um, clean everything up, put um, cut off my loose ends, tie everything, and then that will be the end of the tutorial. So this is the finished product of my bikini top. Um, it's very simple and very, very easy. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also turn on post notifications so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. If you make this out, send me a picture on Instagram. I really love to see your recreations. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.